Now you've got your Wombat board, what can you do with it? We'll take a quick look at some of the projects that come with it. We can blink LEDs. Or we can use the push button switches to control LEDs. We could use analog inputs to measure voltages. So when I turn the trim pot down here, I can create different voltages that we can see on a screen. That's all a bit sort of boring though, so let's dim those LEDs in and out instead of just flashing them. Yeah, much nicer. Instead of just displaying a voltage, let's use a photo cell and read the light level. So I've got a photo cell here on the board and displaying the light level over here and when I cover the photo cell, the light level falls and then goes back up again. That's still kind of boring, so let's use that photo cell to control those LEDs. So now, if I cover the photo cell, the LED turns on and off. And this other one here, actually might be a bit hard to see, but it's actually dimming and brightening as the light level changes. Or how about adding a temperature sensor? I've got one right here. And instead of displaying voltage, we can display the temperature. While that uh, displays there, let's heat things up a little with a hairdryer. can be fun to play with RGB LEDs. Getting on to cycle slowly through all of its colours, in theory, automatically. Well, we could use a trim pot on the Wombat board to control the colour of the LED. So as I turn the pot, the colour goes through the spectrum. But why stop there? How about combine a couple of these things and use the temperature sensor to control the LED's colour? So now, if I make it hot again with a hairdryer, we should see the colour of the LED change. 